So a couple of months ago, I made a video on all the different ways that you can make money online because sweetie, I have tried so many of them. So in that video, I mentioned Rev.com, which I first applied to in February of 2019, right? In this category, the ones that I tried was I tried transcribing audio through Rev.com and I did get paid, you know, they pay you weekly via PayPal, but the audio quality was so bad that I could barely get through it. And I was really desperate at the time. I really wanted to make the money, but it was just so difficult. So yes, it's easy to get started. Once you pass the test, anybody can do it, but it was really tricky and it didn't actually work for me. And the other problem with Rev.com is that there were not always jobs available. Sometimes I'd log on and there'd be one or two audio transcriptions and sometimes there would be nothing at all. So this again is also not a consistent form of income. I could not rely on this to make money every month. When I tried it, you know, I didn't have much success with it because of the time, but I made that video and I mentioned Rev.com and I got some comments of, listen, honey, you have to try different hours. Okay. This platform has changed. It is popping. And so I was a little skeptical, like, hmm, okay, let me try it. Okay. Let me try it myself and see, I could use a little bit of extra cash right now. Let me see if these people are telling the truth. And so I gave it a shot and I'm here to report what I found. So in today's video, you're in luck because I'm gonna tell you about applying to Rev.com, who Rev is for and who it's not, what it's like working there, how you get paid, how much money I've made, and any extra tips that I have for doing well on the platform since I gave it a shot myself. And I did make money, so this is gonna be a good one. So in my video, I did mention that Rev.com is not a scam. It's a completely legitimate website that allows customers to submit their audio transcriptions for contractors like yourself to transcribe and you get paid, right? It's very straightforward, very simple. There's no middleman. The customers upload their files. You choose a file, you transcribe it, send it back and you get paid, right? Weekly right, which is amazing. But I'll tell you a little bit more about getting paid later on in this video. Applying to Rev. So like I said, I initially applied for Rev.com back in February of 2019 and I didn't make it, okay? I consider myself with pretty good English and I gave it a good shot, but I still didn't make the test. And so I had to apply again. So what I did, you know, I don't know if the application process has changed, but back in 2019, what I did to get accepted is I went on YouTube and I watched a couple of videos that help you pass the test. And so I tried again and I passed, right? Um, at the time, I don't really, to be honest, I don't really remember how long it took, but I've been hearing lately that it can take up to six weeks for your application to get processed, reviewed, whatever. So I'm not sure about the time process, but just bear in mind that this may take a while. It may not be super quick because there are thousands of people applying to work at Rev because it's such a great opportunity. But you know what? Let me be very honest with you about who Rev.com is for so that you know not to waste your time if you're not the kind of person that this would work for. I just want to keep it super honest with you. I don't just want to say all the good things. I need you to know what kind of person you need to be. So first of all, you need to have an internet connection, okay? You don't need a fiber internet or a high-speed internet it. As long as you can connect to the internet, you're good to go. You also need a laptop. Okay, you cannot use Rev.com on your mobile phone. You have to use it on a desktop or a laptop. And so that's important as well. But like you don't need a fancy laptop. It's a very simple website where you do everything on the site itself and it's not complicated whatsoever. I really want to show you guys like inside Rev what it actually looks like, but I did sign a non-disclosure agreement. And so I don't want to get in trouble with the platform. So I unfortunately cannot show you screenshots, but I will show screenshots of how much money I've made later on in this video. Okay, so like I said, you need internet connection, a laptop. You also need a really good English. Okay. The reason the test is so difficult to pass is because you're actually going to be doing real work for real clients. Okay. Business clients, people who have meetings that they submit. Zoom meetings is very popular on Rev that people submit and they need high quality work from Rev.com. And so that's why the test is so damn difficult. So you really need to have very good English, very good spelling. You have to be the kind of person that is willing to double check your work. So if English typing, writing, punctuation is not your thing, then Rev is really not for you. I don't want to lie to you, okay? It is a real job, okay? People do this full time as a profession, okay? And it is going to take work from your site. There are clients from all over the world. So as long as you can listen to different audio from different parts of the world and also write them out in very, very good English, then it's not for you. The grading is very strict. If you think that test is strict to pass, it is very strict. So on Rev, this is how it works, right? On Rev, what happens is you log on on any given day and what happens is that there will be a bunch of customer files that you select and you listen. You can preview it before to see if this is the kind of file you want to do and there's different lengths, five minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, an hour. It's completely up to you and it also tells you how much you get paid for that file. One thing I really love about Rev is that it's completely up to you when you want to work, how you want to work, your time, your hours. 
everything is completely in your hands. It's completely up to you. So what is it actually like to work at Rev.com? Basically, in a nutshell, it's just a platform filled with different files and you as the contractor choose whatever you want to work on. So you log on on different days, different times. There's different amounts of files from all over the world and you get to choose exactly what you want to work on. You also get a trial period where you can listen to the file and if it's not your jam, you can unclaim it and let somebody else work on it. So it's incredibly flexible. That is the amazing thing about Rev is that it is so flexible. If you're someone that you know wants to work on hours, if you want to work from midnight to 6 a.m., you can do that. If you want to work in the morning at night, it is completely up to you. I'll be honest, I did most of my projects in bed. <laughs> it was cold, it was winter. I just did everything from my bed and it was very, very convenient for me. So what's something that I don't like about working at Rev? Well, this could go either way, right? So not all the files are created equally. If you want crisp, clear, nice audio, which I complained about in my other video, you know, that there weren't that many that back then. So back then there weren't that many, but today there's a really wide variety of files from Rev. You know, I think the platform actually boomed during the pandemic where it became really popular. A lot of people use Rev.com for their YouTube videos, businesses use it to transcribe um, their Zoom meetings, so for the minutes, things like that. So there's a lot of customers from all over the world. But one thing I've noticed is that the more difficult a file is, the more you get paid. So each file you get paid differently. So some files you might get paid 90 cents per minute, which you typically have quite difficult or challenging audio um, with like heavy accents or maybe the line is not that clear. And some really easy files where everything is crisp clear, the accent is nice and neutral, could only pay you 30 cents per minute. But as the contractor on Rev, it is completely up to you to choose which files you want to work on. But one hack I realized for making more money is that if you're willing to do some of the difficult audio, then you'll actually make more money type of thing. The other thing about working on Rave is the grading is really strict, okay? You have to submit almost perfection work. So they'll give you a style guide of exactly how they want you to transcribe it. It's many, many pages and it explains everything, how you are supposed to format your work and how you're supposed to do your job, right? And they stick to it. Those graders don't play around and you don't know which of your projects is gonna get graded. It's completely random. And so you have to make sure that everything you submit is of the highest quality because if you don't, then you and your grading rating goes low for a certain amount of time then you actually get kicked off the platform and it was so hard to get in why would you want to do something that gets you kicked off so yes the grading on rev is very strict because you need to submit high quality work if you're like a lazy person and you just want to take shortcuts and you don't really want to work hard and submit high quality work you might battle on this platform to be honest but if you're willing to be patient learn the style guide learn from the graders you know because at the end of the day they are just trying to help us submit higher quality work then you'll be fine. You know, it's not rocket science, but at the same time, it's not super easy as well. I'm just trying to give you a reasonable expectation of what to expect. Um, but they do make it very clear and there's a lot of help on the forums. You can get help. People can assist you with files if you're having a tough time. There's just a lot of support as well from the Rev community itself. So I really love that about the platform. And I must say, they really do innovate a lot on the program. So when I first joined in 2019, there were different features back then. And today I see they've done a lot of improvements to make life a lot easier. In fact, some of the projects you don't even have to type from scratch, right? Some of the files, I think the ones that are less than 30 minutes or you know the, the shorter ones you know i don't know the exact number but the shorter ones they actually have a software that listens to the audio and then all you have to do is just edit the file where the computer didn't hear the people correctly so you know they've really made a lot of improvements on this platform and i think they're continuously trying i know a lot of the old rivers still complain about it i've seen on the forum but in my opinion i think they're really really trying and the user interface is very nice and simple to use i think the engineering behind the platform is great in my opinion Let's talk about how you get paid, okay? Okay, like I've told you, it is completely worth it. It is a real website, it is legit, it's a real company. And let's talk about how you get paid. So, Rev pays you via PayPal every Monday, okay? So every Monday, they deposit money into your PayPal account. So you need to have a PayPal account. If you're South African, there are so many YouTube videos on exactly how to set up PayPal. Basically, you need a PayPal account, which is very easy to sign up for. And then if you're South African, easiest way to get it is to go through F&B. So even if you bank with another bank, like Standard Bank or whatever, you are still going to need to get your money from PayPal through F&B. But watch some YouTube videos to help you out. Shortcut, just get an account with F&B and then you can link your PayPal and your F&B it all works very seamlessly. It's not that difficult, but just watch some videos if you're a bit lost. I unfortunately will not be answering questions around that. So yes, good luck. <laughs> so what happens is that they send the money on a Monday 
to your PayPal account and it takes two to three days to come to your FNB account if you withdraw it. So let's say you get the money on Monday, by Wednesday or Thursday, the money should be in your FNB account if you request it on Monday. Now let's talk about how much I actually made. So I spent a few days on Rev.com, but I must be honest, it wasn't a full eight hours worth of work. It, it was just when I had time. Um, I did a little bit here and a little bit there and I'll show you, you know, the week of which projects that I did. And I got paid $145, which at the time was around, with the exchange rate at the time was around 2,000 Rand for that week's work. Okay, so if you were to do it more full time, maybe eight hours a day, maybe you could have made more than me. If you're not as quick as typing as I am, maybe you could have made less, but I made over $100 on Rev in the week and I was very happy with that because it was so simple. I worked from my bed. I really didn't spend that much time on the platform. So now I just wanna give you some extra tips, right? If you've watched this far, Congratulations, thank you for sticking around. I'm gonna give you some extra tips on what I think you can do to do well on Rev.com. So when you first get accepted into Rev, make sure the style guide is your best friend, okay? I had it saved on my desktop and referenced it completely all the time to make sure that I was following the rules correctly so that I maintain a high rating, okay? The rating is very important because when you first join the platform, you get accepted as a rookie and then you complete a certain number of files then you move on to Reva, which allows you access to more work at a higher pay and if you continue you get upgraded again so the harder you work the higher quality work you submit the more money you'll actually make so make sure the style guide is your best friend the second thing is spend some time in the forums right so go to the forums and look at the topics that what people are discussing if you have any questions search in the forum i'm sure other people have had the same queries as you if you don't find it People respond almost immediately when you have a question. So there were times where I couldn't exactly hear correctly what was happening in the file and I sent it over to the forum and somebody, you know, listened and helped me out. So that forum is very active. Make sure you spend time there. There's also tips from other revers in the forum of, you know, typing tips, speed tips, things that can help you type faster and actually make more money. So the forum is very active. I would say definitely spend some time there as well. And then for me as a South African, okay, I'm going to tell you the best time. So I found that um, Sunday and Monday, really, there weren't that many projects. Um, Tuesday got better, but between Wednesday and Saturday, that was the peak when there was more projects available. So I'm a river, right? That's the level that I'm at. So because back in 2019, I did some files and I got myself up to the river level. So on some days, there would be about... On a, on a slow day, there'd be like 100 files, maybe 200. And on a really good day, there'd be 2,000 files. And I found that the more files there are to choose from, the better quality you get because there's just a wider variety to select from. So on those slow days, like Monday, maybe take a day off and then focus maybe on working Tuesday to Saturday, for example. I'm sure I'm going to get the tax question. I always get asked about tax. You are a contractor and so it is up to you to sort out your own taxes. So that is going to be completely up to you to sort out. So yeah, Revit is not going to pay the taxes on your behalf. You have have to follow the tax laws in your country and that is on you to sort out. Then another tip I have for getting good scores on Rev is that after I complete the file I always make sure I go back and I listen to the file again right but I don't keep it on the same speed I like speed it up to maybe 150 percent so that it goes by a little quicker just so that I make sure that I heard every single thing correctly I put commas and full stops and I just did everything correctly because like I said those graders don't play so double checking my work has saved me because the one time I got a three was because I was in a rush and I submitted with without checking the work and I've got a really low score. So you don't want to do that. Make sure you that I know it takes a little bit of extra time, but it will really help you keep your scores high is to always double check your work. And then one final tip I would have, if you really want to make this your full-time income, you definitely can make 2,000 Rand a week on Rev very easily, which is like 8,000 Rand a month, which is way above minimum wage in South Africa. You know, this could be really helpful. I know to many of you who are working from home and we all know the unemployment and how hard it is to get a job. But if you are looking for a job right now, I have an entire playlist of job hunting videos to help you. But in the meantime, you can definitely use a service like Rev.com, you don't need any qualifications, nothing special to get going on this platform. But like I said, in the forum, there's a lot of tips about typing and speed hacks and things that people do. Some people make, you know, I, th I think a record I've seen is like $500 a week that somebody made. Um, and there's all those tips on that platform about how you can make that much money. So Rev is one of those things of like what you put in is what you get out. If you put in the work, you do high quality work, you will really get paid a lot. But if you mess around and you don't take it seriously, then you'll actually get kicked off on the platform and it will be a waste of your time. So I hope this video has been informative. Uh, I don't know any technical answers. Like if you're struggling to get your application approved, I unfortunately don't work at Rev, so I cannot help you. But, you know, just check online other YouTube videos and maybe email them if you're having any challenges with that process because I personally, unfortunately, cannot help you. All I can do is share my experience from what I know working at Rev. 
rev and trying it out to see if it's actually legit. And I think it's definitely legit if you need to make some quick extra money because you're gonna get paid on Monday and it's so awesome. If you want more money making ideas, I have two videos on different apps, websites, and other ways that you can make money online. So do make sure you check out this video in case you've figured out that maybe rev.com is not for you. So you can actually try some of the other ideas that I mentioned in those videos. If you got to this point of the video, okay, let me know so that I know you watched like the whole video. Type keyboard. If you type keyboard, then I will know that you watched the whole thing and it'll just, it'll just make me happy. Okay. It always makes me happy. I'd appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I wish you a lovely, lovely day. Enjoy your day. Good luck making money. I'm rooting for you. You can do it. All the best.